Hello everyone, here's the QNAP server media NAS. NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. So as you can see there, uh, I have installed 14, is it 14 or 12, let's see. Yeah, my bad, 12 hard drive and combined to get a closest to an SSD speed around 1 GB per second. And as you can see, there are four SSD slots as well, those are empty. I have installed, installed it later if I see the hard drive like this, uh, like hard drive, seeking and everything with slow. Currently, I don't need it. So later, I'm going to show you like on Plex. So Plex, I have put some Blu-ray movies and streaming on on, on my network as well as I can. If I'm going outside, right, and then through Plex, I can still watch that in high quality Blu-ray due to Plex server supporting the, those speeds. Thank you. Okay, everyone, <coughs> my bad. So today we will be reviewing QNAP TV at TVS Edge 1688X high speed media NAS with Intel Xeon W125 CPU and two 10 GB port. So this system has two 10 GB port. As you can see in the back, there are ports and I think around 14, no, no, not 14, 12 hard drives and four SSD to NVMe SSD <laughs> and at the same time this is very costly it costs around 4593 Canadian dollar which is converted US I believe is around 3000 plus and this thing in my experience is a beast I love it I think I will uh, probably will buy again like if the current system it's damaged probably within uh, five to ten years when it stopped working yeah so the one best uh, one of the benefit of uh, the system is that plex you can use plex to uh, store high quality blu-ray and then play it of the nas either to any device and through if, if you're if you are using plex you can also use your data or if you're in a different state province state you can still use through wi-fi and now uh, another benefit is that Steam. You can actually install games to your NAS and play the game through that. This way, you'll save storage. But in my opinion, play games that does not require direct storage because uh, it will be what what do you say very hard uh, to play smoothly with those games. Those games make sure you install on your NV NVMe SSD. Other than that, these games will play better than uh, your typical hard drive. Because in uh, NAS hard drive are combined, and with combined it will get the speed up to one GB per second. So as you can see with Ratchet and Clank, it was stored on my NAS, and now we're gonna play this game and show you guys uh, how much better this is. Uh, playing well, playing is better than playing on a hard drive uh, that is like a maximum 200 250 Mbps per second. Whereas this game, I think. Uh, on the ha NAS hard drive it gets up to 1 GB per second so we're gonna start playing soon next we're gonna do is a copy paste test so as you can see I copy paste from my internal to NAS and speed we are getting closer to 901 GB per second so this is another benefit of uh, combining all the hard drive on the NAS and you, you get the speed of, of an almost 3.2 my bad 3.2 GB per second speed and while that's happening we're also playing packing a video on my NAS and as you can see again it's playing without any issue everything's great and in the in later we'll be doing a test of one game I'm playing internally Okay, uh, now let's go to settings and let's see. Monitor for screen 4K 16.9. HDR is currently off. I will do the later DLSS. Assure dynamic. Frame generation. I don't use frame generation. This is on. Okay. Right. So as you can see on the left, 
The frame rate currently is at 225 FPS. Okay. Yeah, aspect ratio does not look good, so let's go to setting frame graphics. Okay, so uh, okay, so let's go to okay, let's go full screen, 4K, 60 by 9, PC mode, that's on brightness, DA versus so on. What else you have here? Yeah, DLSS yeah, zone. Let's put that e so empty to apply if I go to graphics let's put that okay let's put very high speed very high high very high put that very high put that to very high yeah, that has been default but, uh, okay there's no other option i yeah let that be there's no motion uh, film grain i don't use it everything also fine yeah so apply that okay now let's put the game and restart sometimes when you do that it will give you the best setting okay now let's play again and play Now, in the beginning, you saw there was something on the right side. If that was a bug, visual bug, that usually happens when you play a PC game first time because P PC is not like console. When you play it first time after downloading, it has to optimize itself. So you, have to, you maybe, maybe you have to restart, restart the PC to get the best setting. Yeah. Anyway, so let's go to display. Okay, so currently full screen. Okay, currently full screen. Focus on the name. Duration of the LSS 60. Let's go with this one. 120. Apply. There you go. So it will reduce the resolution to match the 120 FPS minimum. So DLSS is on target focus resolution. The graphics, everything is very high, looking at it racing. Yeah, so everything's to my now. Let's do the testing. So let's go load. Mm, yeah, let's go to manual save. That's where my testing area is. Now let's see how long how fast it loads. See that? On a NAS connected to a one GB into the Ethernet port still loaded within seconds. See that? And my frame rate is 116. So let's do the testing area. Let the dimensionator. Yeah, and you see that smooth frame rate. So it's been too long since I played the game, so I don't, I don't even know what control, how the control plays. Sorry about that. I just need to show the testing. Yeah, this game is a proof that you can actually play it on a NAS majority of the game. Even if this game can play smoothly, it play every other game without an issue. 
defenses are weakening. Okay, where's the shatter bomb? Where the hell are you going? Sorry, man. Uh, it's been long since I played this game, so my gameplay is not that great. Uh, let's see, let's use this one. Yeah, but the game run overall is smooth. So unpleasant. And remember, I'm recording with my NASA as well at the same time. Oh dear, he is targeting us. At all. Come on, just die already so I can show you the show the SSD speeders. I mean, my hard drive speeders. Here's a test coming. Let's skip the cutscenes. Yeah, it did linger a few seconds more than usual on the internal SSD, but it's fine. But it totally happened in the beginning. Or maybe no. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's where the issue is. When you do set the highest quality setting, and when you do when uh, you are using only NAS, the NAS is limited at one GB per second, and because of that, it could take some time to load in that location. But it's not game breaking. It's still a few seconds more, and I don't think you will even notice if you never played it though. So it's still playable. Other than this setting, and in the game only only the beginning this set this things are there. In the in the game only in the beginning. This uh, this level is there actually. After this, you don't have this kind of level, so I think it's scratch and crime is perfectly playable on a NAS system, like stored on the NAS, playing on a computer. Because your computer is the one you uh, rendering it on a GPU and CPU side. Look at the graphics, high quality. Yeah, so you get the point. Yes, cute. Also, I like to show you the trailer we recorded. So, if we go to here, here's the game. Oh, I recorded this on 30 FPS in 2016. His defenses are weakening. Okay, play. See that? The dimensions are weakening considerably. Okay, and if I go to audio, the track. Now that's 
video track, audio, audio track. Come on. Time to load in that location, but it's not game breaking because it's only a few seconds more, and I don't think you will even notice. Hello, everyone, welcome. So, as you can see, this is my Blu ray library, which is on the NAS, and these movies are and TV series are all on Blu ray quality. So, let's look at Fast and Furious. Done. I will put like a few seconds of video to show the bitrate and everything at what code it's playing. Got it. Let it, don't lose it. Okay, now if I go here, go to the info, playback setting, you can see play original quality. Uh, the audio is at true HD 7.1, and then English subtitle. And if you go to technical, technical, see that it's transcoding from a NAS, and then the quality is 4K at 100 MBPS bitrate. And this bit, whereas on Amazon Prime, it's at 4K. 20 bitrate, 20 MBPS of bitrate. Okay, here. Yeah, so every movie is like that only uh, here. So now Last of Us will play like a few seconds maybe. Again, technical details. De technically, Next. it's 4K, 100 MBPS, high quality. Yeah, so that's the benefit of NAS. You can like put Blu-ray there, play the play a movie. 